Mm. Sweet, sweet nectar. Hello! Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. Guess who's coming back? Guess who's back? Back again. Paper Dolls Boutique is back. Tell the elephant. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Here is my sign. This is the sign to the store that I had last year that I closed. I had a little vintage store within an antique mall that I had to close because I just couldn't handle the burden. It was so stressful trying to maintain. Huge part of like my dreaming and fantasizing most of my adulthood was one day having a thrift store. And I guess I got a taste of what that's what that's like and what that involves. And I got to try it out and then realize very quickly that I can't do that. It doesn't mean that I'll never do it again. It's just right now isn't the time. And maybe sometime down the road, I would love to open up a thrift store again, a vintage store. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work and just hoping that people come in and buy stuff and then, you know, photographing the inventory, keeping track of inventory, posting it all over social media, trying to find different outlets of where to sell it online. It just is all consuming. The inventory is gonna be going back to the antique store, <laughs> but this time it's gonna be in someone else's store. So Sassy Boutique, who is the owners of a little shop that was around the corner from mine, theirs was bigger than mine, and they had furniture and stuff too. They've just expanded. So they've gotten a, a really big, it's like a huge space and they have room and they have spaces to fill and they're giving little sections to vendors. So I will be going through all of that today. That's what we're doing. I have a whole section of the upstairs that is all of my inventory. It's been packed and put into these little bins. I want that whole area to be my closet for my jackets and coats, which are currently in a pile. I've had nowhere to put them, uh, so this is, going to be kind of an overhaul remodel of the upstairs. I get to the point where I want to redo sections of my closet up here because it just when it starts to get really messy really quickly that's how I know that I don't like it. That it's too crowded, there's too much stuff, I need to declutter. So it's a declutter day and this closet right here has all of my winter clothes in it. I think it's time to pull some of my more autumnal clothing out and then put some of my summer stuff away. I can't believe it's that time. It's that time because we're how many days? We're like a week away from the first day of autumn, which is kind of funny because the weather is still very warm and uh, we're, we're getting, it's cooling off, but um, still no, really not a lot of rain. But uh, I, I just want my rainy days with my candles, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna do that today. And this week we're gonna go down there and check it out. I'm so glad that I have the trunk space to be able to transport all of this stuff now. I mean, it's so great. And then they also have room for furniture. So if I'm ever out and about and I see something like a cute chair or something that I just know would sell, I can upcycle it and sell it in the store. And they are really big on upcycling there. Let's go take a look at the closet. Oh my gosh, it's a mess, be prepared. So this is all of the inventory from the store and I just need to get everything out of the bags because these were gonna be my little mystery bags, which I actually still want to do. So I do still wanna do mystery bags. I'm just not gonna have them for sale on the web shop. They're gonna be little mystery bags I'm gonna put together, put a sticker on them and a label and a size and people can just buy them out of like a basket and it's just like surprise thrift clothes it'd be fun i just think it'd be i always love to grab bags and stuff like that it's going to be all of the clothes for the labels that i just don't think are really like worth anything to try to resell you know like if it's a cute little forever 21 dress or like a sweet top by h&m but just like not worth trying to resell so i'm mainly focusing on vintage designer and upcycles that i'm doing so this is going to be what we're going to work on today clearing this area I would like to completely clear it so that I could do racks here because see how this side has these racks in this strip light I want to do the exact same thing on this side and then line all of my coats up in my sweaters to do some fun stuff with I also have my photography studio kind of crap back there So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of that And then this is like my office where I'll sit and edit videos if it's not crazy hot up here The shoe situation I obviously one day would like to make it look a little bit better than that, but it's not bad. So yeah, all of my coats need to be hung up so that I can see them before it actually does officially become autumn and cold. My hair fell out of those little buns, so we're going full-blown Cabbage Patch people. I'm overwhelmed already. Let me show you. 
I have some, see, once you start pulling everything out, you realize you have more than you thought. So I have way more inventory than I remember. It's gonna feel good to get it out of here and at least sitting somewhere maybe making money. I need to re, this is covered in the little pampas grass seeds. There's just some things that I just can't believe never sold because if they fit me, I would be wearing them and they would not be for sale. This dress, if this fit me, you would have to pry this from my cold dead hands. That's how much I love this dress. It's a vintage Liz Claiborne. It has this beautiful cross in the back and I added this. The original material that was around the edging of it was stained really bad and in terrible condition. So I removed that and just replaced it with a ruffle and it's just such a beautiful dress. My mom gave me this dress actually and said just like do something fun with it. So yeah, this is my first I think this was my first upcycle or not, if not one of them. But anyway, this dress is for sale at the store. I'm doing the inventory. Uh, I just basically last night after dinner, I laid on the couch and watched some TV and I went through each item. I gave it a SKU number. I gave it a price and they want like a high price and a low price. I guess that's so that if somebody were to ask if they would take a different amount that they can refer to this and say we can do 10 or we can do this. You know they have to kind of like make sure they don't go below your asking price. I'm now putting it into like their system because they have a little online. It looks exactly like this but it has their logo on it. It's very organized which I really appreciate. I love organization. I love lists. I'm actually kind of enjoying myself because <laughs> I'm weird but I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna change out of my house dress I just tossed this on to be presentable to the water guy but I'm gonna change into something else and then we're gonna head down to the space and go take a look okay inventory is inventoried I have everything in the computer I'm actually surprised I didn't create a spreadsheet like that for myself when I had paper dolls open I just like I was so old school. I did it all in paper and then also my website. Actually, that's probably why because my website had it all in like a spreadsheet. Uh, my lunch is beeping at me. I tossed a vegan ravioli in the <laughs> microwave. Something quick and easy. I'm gonna gobble that down and then we're gonna head out. I honestly can't believe that I'm back here again. <laughs> it just feels like old times, you know? Like I used to come here almost every day and like go work at my little shop. Make me so <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have the obligation to come down here and work anymore. It's just too much. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I drove the side that I think that the store is located now. I could swear it was on the other side and it didn't look open. You know what though? I actually kind of wanted to walk around this area anyway and, and, and look into other spaces. Maybe there's other spaces that have, um, you know, the same situation because it would be cool to get into a um, little space in some way. This is the old paper mill over here. It's actually shutting down soon. This is the what is called the aroma of Tacoma. This is what causes that smell, the paper mill. Paper mills tend to be really stinky, but this is the old mill that's going to be shutting down and then the smell of Tacoma will no longer be. Here's the old clock tower. It's so cool looking. It looks like they're doing some remodeling on the first floor. I was noticing that when I came in. Lots of newness. But this is the adorable little downtown and this is Antique Row. So we're gonna go take a look. Oh my gosh, where is everybody? <laughs> Not one single store is where it was. This is the space. It's actually really, really cute. The library. 
One of my favorite features, the owner of the building built this entire library. It never gets old, does it? Ah, it's so cold. Look at this chair. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, well, I am back. That felt like I now have an idea of what this space looks like where they've moved. They did move where I thought that they had and it's a nice big space. It's really cute too, the way the whole store is set up. So I think it's gonna be good. But anyway, um, that's about it for today. Oh, some Tina butter. I'll take a slice. I was, I was on my way, I'm on my way, I'm there, I'm here, I'm at the mall. <laughs> Sometimes when I turn this camera on, I'm like, what am I doing and why am I even on YouTube? <laughs> I can't explain the, the draw and the desire to make vlogs, I can't. It's ingrained inside of me. I think it's because I just sat and overshared with my mom after school growing up about my life and I just am like conditioned to explain my life. But um. <laughs> I think that's the way I do it. I don't know. Sometimes I think I've lost my mind. <sighs> I am working on my mental health, but it's not lost. If anything, it's in repair. I'm about to go pick up my online order that I placed for just a few things at Sephora. And then my Ipsy for the month has come. And I actually was about to start showing you guys some of the stuff in it and my camera died and I was like, I'm out of here. I have stuff to do. And then I need to go to the thrift store after this and see if I can find some sort of container or basket that's big that can hold all of the items that are gonna be the grab bag stuff. But I just wanted to grab this real quick and then um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll reconvene, okay? You guys, we'll, one thing at a time, just slow down. The mall was insane. I haven't seen the mall that busy in a really freaking long time. And Sephora was popping off. So many like beauty advisors there. I hadn't seen it like that since before COVID. Like, and I used to work there when it was crazy on a, a Saturday like that. Those are always the days that I had to be there doing makeup and like, you know, usually with Smashbox, sometimes with YSL, I had been at that location, but it wasn't my favorite store to work at. I actually got mean girled a little bit there. So I didn't really like that store. I got the Amica, the Amica Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Oh my God, that smells so good. God, I love it when hair products smells good like that. That packaging is so cute. And I'm gonna take these right now because I have not had any of my gummies in the past couple of days and I don't want to deter any of the progress I've made. Wow, this is really cool packaging. Look at how cool they are. <laughs> vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, biotin, iodine, zinc. Holy crap. And then I just re-upped on my goof proof. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town way. So Cat and Rabbit is this little cake shop that has a window, a walk-up window, and they basically just sell out every day pretty much. People come from all over. Your chances of not getting cake are pretty good because you got to get here early. But yeah, it's called the Cat and Rabbit, and look at this cake. So I got myself a raspberry and my husband the carrot because that's his favorite. They were really low as per usual. So if you get here at like, so it's 2.30, no it's 3 o'clock, so 
They're pretty much almost out of everything. Okay, I just listened to Doja Cat paint the town red more times than I've ever listened to a song in a row ever in my entire life. But it is so fun to sing along to. The only concern I have is that now I'm gonna have like an earworm where like I can't stop singing it when I'm trying to go to sleep tonight because I drilled that song into my head. Such a good song. It's so good. I'm returning something. Last week, I didn't really talk about it too much because I was more focused on the costume jewelry and I edited out like what this was, but this was a Zara dress that I tried on and it had like a snag in the front and it fit me so horribly. Like when I put it on, it was just like grabbing in places that I hated. I couldn't even picture how I would style it. I actually didn't really like the feel of it at all on my body. It just didn't work. And then I saw how much I paid for it. And I cannot believe that I didn't catch that. I would never pay $17 unless this was something that was like a designer label and vintage. I can't believe I paid that much for this. So I'm gonna just try to take this back. Well, they didn't have any containers for me to put the bags in, but I did find this. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that thing. This is gonna look so cool with like various sweaters this winter. <gasps> it's like a weapon. I love it. She's a devil. She's a bad little bitch. She a rebel. I wanted to show you guys this month's ipsy that i got this is the conserving beauty conserve you facial oil and you guys know i've been into like really dewy skin like healthy just bouncy dewy skin so i've been using this which i've talked about a lot and it's the biro fig renewal oil so i'm excited about this because the applicator is a little cleaner like it just has like a little dropper and I really like the look of the bottle. It's so cute. Look at that. So I did already try it earlier and it is what I have on my skin right now. I'm just wearing a BB cream at the moment. Glowish Huda Blur Jam. But I do love this packaging so much. It's so cool. It opens up into what looks like a fruit jam. There's no smell to it. I wish I could describe it better. It's velvety. It's almost like a velvet. There's something about the look of this inside of a jar that just excites me. And it's because it's different and I've never seen it before. So that's so exciting. It's a new primer for me to try called Glow-ish. I can't wait for this, the Blur Jam. This is Resurrection Polypeptide Cream, Rich Moisturizer for Deeply Restored and Supported Skin by Coco Kind. I've been saying that I was looking for a new super hydrating moisturizer. A friend of mine said that Pharmacy's Honey Potion or Honey Moisturizer is really good. I have a little sample of that that I used when I was traveling, but it's such a small sample that I didn't get to really get in there and like slather it on. And when I use a moisturizer at night I want it to feel like I'm wearing icing I'm one of those people that likes to feel a thick amount of moisture on my face so first of all here's the inside of it it's this like really beautiful lilac-y color wow it's really drippy <laughs> like really really drippy so I just got to make sure I don't get this on everything I love this packaging cool it's in that kind of like I don't know what kind of jar that's called Laura Geller's soft satin six matte eyeshadows and two highlighters i just love the look of this little palette because it's so floral here is the palette packaging look at how like autumnal all these colors are the last palette that i got in, in um, ipsy was an il maquillage one look at these colors beautiful they did not perform at all on me like I tried to blend them out I tried to get them to work I tried them to do something and they just would not show up on my skin <laughs> they were transparent it was so bizarre I was like is this why this is in the in the ipsy but I don't want ipsy to become that to be like here's your crappy secondhand makeup you know what I mean so I was a little disappointed in that but most of the time everything I get from ipsy I really love that was just a fluke but that kind of stuff I would prefer not to happen too often because this is a complete waste. Like I'm never gonna use it. And then the last thing is the Lunar, Be Lunar Beauty Lip Pencil. Lunar Beauty is Manny, M-U-A. If you guys follow up on your OG YouTube influencers. That is a really pretty, um, I would call that like a, what's he calling it, doodle? Lunar Beauty's doodle. And then blushing. Ooh, that's super pink very pink not usually a lip color that I go for too often but I'm down to try put that in the drawer and then this is what I got at Sephora the vitamins you already saw um, 
and the hair stuff. I can't wait to shower and spray that in my hair. I usually use the It's a 10, but that is expensive. Not that what I did got, what I got, this was also expensive, but the It's a 10, it's like I, I always end up buying it and then I go through it really fast and then I'm like, God, I don't wanna buy another one that was too costly. <laughs> um, I'm trying something new. And Amika, I really like my dogs are, my dogs are wrestling, so I hope you don't mind that sound. Okay, so now we've got the Goof Proof back, and I went a shade darker because see how there's this like gap right here? It's just not dark enough for my brows, so I felt like I needed to just go a half shade up. So I'm hoping that this, yes, yeah, see, this is much better. Oh, Bean. <laughs> You need a B-A-T-H. I'm not gonna say it because they'll both freak out. Okay, well, I'm gonna put everything away. Um, I'm gonna go finish what I was doing over on this side. Here is the finished closet. I have inventoried everything, tagged it. I think it was close to 180 items, but now I have somewhere to put all of my winter coats, my sweaters, and my blazers. The strip light came on. I've made it green for now, but I can change it up as I go. All of the sunglasses are organized. The jewelry, costume jewelry is all now in a rightful place. And this fragrance, the Dr. Vrange's Rose Tobacco is so good. I also have a diffuser going that has pine, orange, and lemongrass. It smells so good up here. It feels so clean and tidy. And now my couch is finally clear of all of my jackets. And purses and hats are nicely organized. Everything looks so good. It feels so good up here. That's it for the week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very organizational video of getting shit done around the house. <laughs> it feels good. And now I need to do this room. It's never ending. Subscribe if you're not, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.